Hello and welcome to Tungsten Tales. I'm John Scott and I'm here previewing every first round game of the Lakeside World Professional Dance Championship with Macy Ace, Chris Mason. Saturday 6th of January, final game in the afternoon. All the afternoon games, of course, shown live on Channel 4. Um, a prelim to finish off that round. Pengram Mohammed and well done. Gary Robson. Um, obviously don't know a huge amount about the, the Brunei qualifier, uh, won the Asian qualifying event. Um, Robson obviously more familiar to us, although he wasn't there last year. Um, easy game for Big Robbo, perhaps. Well, uh, as we've said, he, he's come. For, he's, well, he was a lucky loser in effect. He he wasn't in it. Ratajski chose to play in the PDC World Championship, which left a spot for Gary to step into. T took a gamble or a, an educated risk to not play in the World Championship qualifiers and it's all worked out all right for him and now he plays a, a qualifier in a prelim but <clears throat> this guy's come through a 200 plus field of players in that Asian qualifier to take his place so he must be he must be half decent yeah. and Robbo's not really shown any sign of form in the last 12 months hence the reason he was so far down in the rankings. Yeah, I mean, as I say, it's, it's not unusual to get these players who you don't know a lot about and the audience won't know a lot about but they do surprise you sometimes with how good they actually are. They just don't, obviously, with a lot of the tour being based in the Europe or in the Northern Hemisphere, guys from that part of the world don't get to travel as much as they can. Well, no, look at Paul Lim at 63 years of age. He's just performed so well in, you know, uh, uh, in, the, in the PDC version of the World Championship. So you can't, you can't take him lightly. You will have to be, you know, you'll have to be switched on. Like I said, if, you, if you've come a field of 200 players, I don't, I don't care who you are, you still have to remain rock solid throughout the whole day and that's a that's a big field to come through uh he would have won what some seven or eight matches to to, to qualify uh, and he he's got nothing to lose he's you know i think when you come through those qualifiers you're a bit well jeff smith did the same thing and you sort of you come through and you're free rolling there's no there's no expectation all the pressures on on big robbo to mm -hmm. perform um and unfortunately the the, the first prize of winning that match is a meeting with the the current champion glenn durrant <clears throat> so it's not really a win-win situation, no. is it? No, no matter what happens. But again, we don't know what's going on with Glenn. Is his is his mind elsewhere? There's been talk of is 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 going to make the switch across to the PDC and a, an attempt to go through Q school in January. So you never know where his mind is right now. He, uh, he it's, it's it's a tough one. I think you'd have to think. I, I can't. I mean, you've heard, uh, there's been rumours that. You know, maybe his mind's not going to be on the job, but I'd I'd be surprised if he'd give up the opportunity to to join a very elite group and retain the title. He's the he's the best player in the field, and no disrespect to anyone else in it. He's a, he's a proven winner. Uh, he wins an incredible amount of opens, but he's, he's he played fantastically as well in in the Grand Slam, mm -hmm. uh, along with the the other BDO lads that that competed in it. Uh, and he for me, he's the man to beat. It's just whether. His, his mind's on the job, and if it's not, he will come unstuck. Uh, as we've seen, he got thumped by Jim Williams in the in the Finders, mm -hmm. and Jim himself averaged a, an incredible 110 average against him. So there is there is quality in the field, and if he if he's not 100, percent he could be susceptible to going out. And he's playing a guy with, who's got much more experience than him at Lakeside. Robbo, I don't know how many he might, he must be in well into double figures of appearances at Lakeside. So I think he's made a semi final. Uh, yeah, he really won the old world trophy in its old yeah, form that's right. a number of years back. Uh, so he, he's, he's a very experienced opponent. And we do expect him to come through that prelim match uh, and set up a clash with Durant. If, if Durant's 100%, percent he will be the man to beat, not just in this match, but for the whole tournament. Yeah, well, the bookies don't often get it too wrong, and he is a short price favourite. So Stay tuned right here on Tungsten Tales in association with Winmore Darts for all the post-match interviews and live updates from the Lakeside World Professional Darts Championship.